Hello, welcome to the workshop, and of course, Merry Christmas. Technically Christmas Eve, for some of you guys watching, it's Christmas already. But Merry Christmas, I thought I would send you off into the day where you're probably going to eat the best you've eaten for the entire year. You're going to spend wonderful time with your family. It's, it's a beautiful time of year. But I'd send you off with a bang, or at least with a little bit of forging. So I'm going to forge something real quick as, uh, as, we, as, we, as we crack on and bullet towards the new year. And what a fantastic year it's going to be. So I've got the forge hot. Sadly, Sam isn't with us in the workshop. Sorry, Sam. Sorry you couldn't be here. It's just me and the forge. That's all right. That means that all the heat in the workshop is just going to me, which is very good. I'm going to swipe over and see my YouTube comments real quick. See who's chiming in. Hello, all of you. Rodney, Brandon, Keenan, Caleb, Ryan, Austin, Brandon, Kyle, Mark, Greg, Chris, Brandon, Abby, Babby, Colton, Steve. It's great to have you all here. Hope you guys are going to have a fantastic Christmas tomorrow. I don't know exactly what I'm going to make, but I put a piece of round stock in the fire. I think I'm just going to make a, a somewhat relatively large leaf. I think that would be pretty enjoyable for me. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm over here in the other side of the workshop, grabbing some other tools. And I think we might try and decorate it somewhat interestingly. And uh, it's going to be a really fun show. I'd love to hear what you've all been up to this week. I have just finished the preliminary edit, so I'd like to think, where did I put that other tool? OK, I'm going to pause for a second as I look at this. Tool tray. Tool, tools, tools. No tools. Tools? No tools? OK. Got dead air on set. Where on earth did I put it? OK. Well, there we go. I guess I'm not going to be using that tool. I was looking for my slightly more sled. Uh-oh, that's not good. What happened there? Looks like my camera has died. Huh. That's the most peculiar thing. OK. What a bad start to this little episode here. That's all good. We got this camera. So I'm going to shuffle you up slightly. We're going to do a little forging. So I've got a piece of 16 mil round. I'm going to come out here. I'm going to put a little taper on it. If you haven't seen my tapering video, you should. It's about 5 eighths round. It's just mild steel, or at least I hope it is. A nice little obtuse taper. And I think I might even make this one a little longer. Now I'm going to take about another cube of material, run over to this far edge of the anvil. Working two sides here with the hammer. And now I'm just kind of tilting that round die back towards myself ever so slightly, chopping in here because I'm not going to really want to create a very large stem, so I want to bar that out a little bit before I come to this near side of the anvil. Oh, and right about there. Create a reverse taper. And right about now, I'll come back to the far side, tilt my round die back towards myself. Whoa, look at that. Little miss hit. I hit a little too far off there. So that forged it down a little too much. Oh, buddy. One miss hit will set you off a long little way. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well. Brilliant. Well, I'm actually going to run to the run to the other side of the workshop, grab a spare battery. Golly, Sam, if you're watching this, this is what happens when you're not here. I forget to check how much battery I have in my camera. Terrible. Oh shoot! 
I tell you what I forgot to do. Again, Sam, you, 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 you help keep this show in order. Where have you gone? Okay, okay, sorry for the dead air. Okay. So if I press one, we should be back live on that one camera. Hey, we are. Woo. <laughs> okay, my piece of steel is about to be hot. So I forgot to do something, right, guys? I forgot to do something. Who commented in the first minute? I'm going to have a look. Okay, Dave Bell, I'd like to give you a hammer. I told myself that, okay, I'd give somebody a Christmas gift today. The one minute club, the 60 second club has been fantastic. Having all of you guys comment so fast as soon as we release the video, just wonderful. And I want to thank you so much. Dave Bell, head over to my Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Alex Steel Blacksmith. Shoot me a message there and I'm going to send you a hammer. I think I have a two pound hammer up there, something like that. I'll send you one of those as soon as possible. Thank you everybody else who has been commenting on the 60 Second Club. What a great thing. If you don't know what the 60 Second Club is, well, I tell you what, my friends, on this heat here, I'll explain it to you. So, if you turn on the notifications to my posts, my, uh, my YouTube posts, you can do that in the channel, hit the little bell icon. You'll get a notification when I post a video. For some reason, the notification isn't very accurate. It's not always every time that I post the video. For a lot of people, it does seem to be. But when I post that video, run over to the video page, leave a comment below, and I will select somebody every so often to give something to. I think that's very exciting. That's great for the YouTube channel, because if it can help inspire you and motivate you to leave a comment on my videos, especially fast, that in interaction helps and tells the YouTuber algorithms to push my video content in other people's suggested feeds, so I appreciate it for that reason. I also appreciate it because it's uh, it's a great opportunity to, you know, give people some fun gifts and, uh, and 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 pay back a little bit that way, pay back your loyal viewership in that small small little way. Okay. Right, hit that on that one side. Make a little make a little leaf-shaped object out of there. Ah, wonderful, brilliant. Let's read some more YouTube comments. What's going on, guys? PJ Bezilla says that the music on the channel is great. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. Very difficult to find good music. The music on the channel is great, says PJ Bezilla. But he's a little upset that I don't post the music titles. Uh, yeah, I, a lot of people are often asking about the music titles. I do apologize about that. I'll tell you quite frankly, the reason that I don't put the YouTube titles in is because I really can't be bothered. After four hours of editing a video, <laughs> I want to go to sleep. I, I never know the music titles when I pick them. I just pretty much pick out the music that I like that's good. I use a, I I use a platform called Epidemic Sound which is a, YouTube, a platform for YouTube content creators. You pay like 10 quid a month, which is an incredibly small sum of money, and uh, you get access to something like 20,000 songs to use on your YouTube videos, and you can monetize the YouTube videos, it's pretty good. Um, but yeah, so, sorry, but I just can't be bothered. That's absolutely it. <laughs> No, in fact, I'm not sorry. You get a great video nonetheless. So I'm going to take a pretty thick fuller in here. Oh, actually I'm not. I'm going to go real crazy. I'm going to take a thick farm fuller. And I'm going to run this down the middle. And I'm going to leave a pretty thick vein. So these cold temperatures. Always good to lay out your stock. 
<laughs> I tell you what, I was on the wrong little shot there. Always good to lay out your stock. I'm taking another one of, one of Jacob Farm's thick farm fullers. If you don't know who Jacob Farm is, go check out his work on Instagram at Farm Forge. It is unreal, unbelievable. He's an incredibly, incredibly talented artist and blacksmith. The work he does is, uh, is really phenomenal. I'm always inspired whenever I see his forge work. You will be too. Go give it a follow. Go buy something from him. He'll appreciate it. And I tell you what, you will too. The quality of his forge work is truly phenomenal. And I just, I just, I just love trying to you know, play a little imitation game and do fun little forgings like this. Wonderful, where'd I leave my phone? I'm gonna pull up the YouTube comments on my phone. See what you guys are up to. Do 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 do. Oh, feels good. I, I, I really like Christmas time. Well, it's, to, to, to be correct, a little bit of a love-hate relationship. I hate it because if I wanna keep doing business, I can't keep doing business because everything's shutting down. Like I ordered belts, the belts usually show up like two days later. I still haven't had my belts, and you know, it's been a little while, and it's because of Christmas. Oh, the wind just blew my door open. That's creepy, there's a ghost. However, I also love it, because it's a wonderful seeing how the world just slows down a little bit. People, people step back and reflect. Reflect upon the past year, reflect upon the year that's coming ahead. I think it's a really good thing, and it's, it's, it's pretty interesting to see that in the, oh goodness, I, I don't know. I don't know where I'm seeing it or where I'm feeling it, but at least the, the, the feeling in the air, golly, that could not sound, that could not sound more vague. The feeling in the air is, uh, is that it's, it's, it's a contemplate, contemplating time of the year, and I like that. I like that, it's, it's, it's nice to step back and think about things and, and take it a little easier. So let's, let, let's read, oh God, where are the YouTube tap? Here are the YouTube comments. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Bob. I'm very pleased that you're enjoying the videos. Da da da. Right, let's get back at this. I'm gonna go and press number two. I'm gonna deepen it up a little bit with this thick farm filler. I usually tend to use a slightly narrower farm fuller. Oh yeah, by the way, Jacob hates that I call this a farm fuller. So you've got to make sure that you call it a farm fuller, because it is. I've, I've not seen it anywhere else. It's, it's, it's very interesting. It's almost a butcher and a fuller. And a ball fuller too. It's a tremendously interesting tool. Leaves a beautiful, beautiful end result. I'm very pleased with the finish that it does. He puts it to wonderful use in all of his work, which again, you should absolutely go and check out. See, I got a little nick in there. That, is, that, that, that ain't good. Let's see if I can fix that. Use these lower temperatures. That one side on the right, the side that you're seeing is way, 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 way cleaner than the one on the, one on the left. I've got some kind of chattering in there, so I've got to see if I can fix that. Just where I hadn't, hadn't been holding my tool dead on. I think that's because when I hammer, I like to, that's uh, very interesting to try and evaluate what's going on when you're making mistakes. When I hammer, I like to look from this side, so it's very, from over that way, so it's very easy for me to look at the left hand side of the tool because I'm looking straight at it. When I got to look this way, I've got to go there and then back to hit, and that's where my problems are rising. How can I mitigate, mitigate against that mess up in the future? Maybe hit over my head like this, there we go. I guess it just takes holding on and making sure you don't slip. Okay. So I mean, I'll usually lay out stuff at a colder temperature, but I don't want to lay out the next stuff quite at that cold temperature. Okay, what's going on? Great to see you, Gregory. My Creations Workshop. 
has asked if I have a girlfriend, and then Sam replied and said, apparently I'm in love with Sam. Um, no, I don't have a girlfriend, and I assure you, no, I'm not in love with Sam. Or am I? <laughs> There's the plot twist. I thought that wasn't a funny enough response. I had to, had to make it a little funnier. Oh, the plight of attempting to be an entertainer. However, Sam, I am quite curious as to why you would insinuate to my creations workshop that, that you are female? That, that seems a little odd, Sam. I, and then I guess, I guess that comes with the times, doesn't it? I'll leave a little gap there. Change the angle. A little far in Brazil combo. Those two aesthetics always go together interestingly. There we go. Just gonna go back in the forge. What would it take for me to get to get classes in the U.S.? Uh, well, you see, the, the the issue that I have with doing classes in the U.S. is that requires it, it's a pretty lengthy process to go ahead and get the appropriate visa to be able to do that, or at least I I haven't spoken to an immigration lawyer about it, and I assume it's relatively lengthy and expensive and stuff like that. So for like a one-off class, it makes it a little difficult. I'd have to speak to a, 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 an immigration lawyer about it to know how easy or how difficult it was to get set up to be able to teach a class in the US. Uh, in Canada, it's a little bit easier. Um, they have a provision for doing seminars, so I'm doing a seminar in Canada, which is great. So I'm gonna deepen up these grooves. With that little large, I tell you what, I keep forgetting to hit number two. There we go. Maybe you'll see what we're doing here a little bit better. Deepen up those grooves a little bit. Tell you what, also, God, there's your problem. That's why it's been such ugly video footage from that one camera. Parker Steel, what about Parker Steel? I've never worked, I have I forged stainless steel. That's about it. Oh, Rowan, that's bad. That, that's a shame. Dale, Dale says he's gonna find me a nice Canadian girlfriend when I, when I come over to Canada. Dale, I, I'd be very appreciative, but just make sure that she's Canadian and from Texas. I'd rather live in Texas. Of course, you know, that presumably what, half Canadian, half Texan. That seems pretty antithetical though. It's like, about as polar opposite as they get. No, I, I, I haven't a clue. Although I do hear that Alberta is the Texas of Canada, so maybe I should go to Alberta. Take a little narrower fuller, see what this effect does. Coming on the peaks here of the veins. I did just realize that I insulted the entire demographic of the class that I'm going to be teaching in February. Oh well. Hey ho, that's what it's all about. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta fight the pitchforks attacks in person, so I'm probably gonna have to do that. 
when guys, when people ask if I would ever come somewhere, um, you got to like you know come and teach a class somewhere, something like that. If if you can work out the reason that I do these things, the reason that I do these things, it's it's a business decision. It's okay. Is it financially viable for me to go there? Am I gonna am I gonna make money going there? Is it a profitable thing? Is it more worthwhile for me to go and teach a class somewhere than it is for me to be here and work on a project that's gonna make a good video or here and making hammers? That's the question that I ask myself when I'm deciding whether to go here, go there, go to, you know, XYZ country, XYZ country, or this particular state or that particular city. Here's the short answer. If you can get a group of people together who all want to take a class and you've got a venue that's willing to get set up to do that class or that seminar, whatever it is, then there's an opportunity. I can only go on what I know. If it happens to be that Winnipeg, Canada, Winnipeg, Canada indeed is a hot spot of forging, of hobbyist blacksmiths who want to learn and who want to do the evolution of tool making, then that is freaking awesome. Let me know. You know, if there, are, if there are 10 guys that want to get together and, and set something up, hey, I'm pretty sure we should be able to make something work like that. You know, there's a certain investment required for you to get tooled up to do it. I'm sure it's a lot of fun though. But uh, that's that's the point that we're, that we're able to talk and we're able to to make something happen, you know? So hopefully for, for guys that are, you know, curious and asking, are you gonna come here, are you gonna come there? Will you come here, will you come there? Again, I just, I just gotta work out, hey, is this gonna be viable? Are there enough interested parties in said location? Okay, I'm gonna take a little red heat. I'm gonna shut that off so it's just a little bit cool. And I'm also gonna grab a little wooden block. And I don't know where I would have put a wooden block the last time. I usually have them everywhere, scattered around the workshop. I wanna take a little soft wood block because I then flip the leaf upside down and I will hammer it into said soft wood block and it gives it a very, very, uh, much more lively aesthetic, much more lively finish uh, than the alternative. Well, I think I have found what I'm looking for over in this side of the workshop. Uh, I've been using it for the video that I shot yesterday here in the workshop. And yep, it's perfect. It's a, it's a piece of two by, two by six that I use in my pillar drill. And it's a super little simple, it's got one of these little clamps on them just poked into a hole um, and, and, it, and it, it works nicely on the pillar drill for quick, quick little operations where you want to clamp. I tell you what I forgot, for goodness sake, good lord this is terrible. I, I forgot the, 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 the last step that I wanted to do before doing that which was to run in number two, run in here with my bold farm filler and just go side to side, all the way up, and at this low temperature, as it really oxides very minimally, and as our hammer blows, you know, they just have a little bit of lesser impact. I'm able to polish and shine the surface, close up the, you know, the, the, the semblance of a porous surface, make it hopefully a little bit more pretty, a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, and hopefully do justice to what this incredible tool and the incredible aesthetic of, the, of this little Brian Brazil Jacob Farm combination leaf, what that aesthetic can, can allow. It's always nice to make the most of that. So I'm gonna lay this block here up on top of that and I'm gonna take a glove at this point. Uh, I don't know why I know that. I'm sure it has nothing to do with me burning myself. And I'm gonna drive this ball fuller straight into that block. Let's see if I can reposition this. There we go. Sorted. Da, 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 da. You don't even know what I'm doing, so I'm messing with the other camera. Reposition that, and I'm gonna flip that thing upside down when it's hot and drive it right into there. 
Abby Babby has the right idea. He says that we need to get Alec to Texas. Yep, absolutely. He says that there are a lot of beautiful women in Texas. I, I would agree. And uh, no, Texas is the place. Wait, Sam, did you call me a little while earlier? Did Sam call me? Sam, leave me, leave me a little comment here. Let me know if you called. Jackson, happy birthday. I don't know who Jackson is, but apparently, uh, apparently it's, it's time to wish him a happy birthday. Was it Sam that, uh, that wished me a happy birthday? No, not that wished me a happy birthday, that sent me, that, that, that tried to call me earlier. Like literally five minutes ago, I shut off the call. Sam did call. Sam, call me back. We'll put you on the show. Okay, so somebody asked what camera I used when I did the mannequin challenge. The cameras that I shoot with are the Panasonic GH4s, uh, which is an incredible system that I'm very pleased with. Um, it works very well for the kind of style of videos that I try to do. However, funnily enough, the camera that you see right Right now is not a panic. Oh, it's so much smoke in my face. <laughs> I need to get this done and stop talking. Oh, and there's, there's like cutting oil smoke and oh, God. <laughs> it, this, this is not what this block is used for. <laughs> oh, goodness. Good Lord. Put a little backwards curl on the tip there. Sam, you haven't called again. Let's get it on. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was smelly. Okay, I'm gonna poke that brick back, keep the heat in there, let it cool down nice and slowly. And I'm gonna give this little wire brush, even better though, I'm gonna go hit number two. And there we go. There is a Brown Brazil Jacob Farum inspired little leaf. Matt, I tell you, it is just super enjoyable to make little fun little fast projects like that. Nothing more enjoyable. Fast little project, immediate gratification comes as a result is very satisfying. Nothing quite like that. That's just one of the reasons why I love this incredible craft. You know, take something like that anywhere, make it into whatever you want. I dare say I'm just super, super thrilled about that. Well look guys, I wanna say thank you so much. Let me just check there are no interesting comments. Well, there, the comments are always very interesting. Um, but, Da, 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 da. Sorry. Thanks for the comment, bacon yum. Any interesting comments? Well, they're all interesting. It's just that there's nothing really worth answering. But man, I'm just denigrating all of my viewers today. I need to get better at this. I really, really do. Especially as it's Christmas. And I want to end this video by saying thank you very much for watching this episode. I want you to have an amazing Christmas. Have a fabulous day spending time with your family. Spending time with your kids, spending time with your parents, spending your time with your siblings. Enjoy it. I hope you have a wonderful day reflecting on the past year and looking towards the next year and looking at all the exciting things, the exciting things that you want to do, the exciting things that you want to make. I certainly know I am. Cannot wait for 2017. Well, I can't wait for today and today is already epic. Can't wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow is always epic. It's always epic. But I know that 2017 is going to be fantastic, especially for this YouTube channel and the amazing content that I plan to keep putting out with the gargantuan effort that I put it out with. Thank you so much for watching this episode. It is a thrill, a pleasure, an honor as always. Have a very, 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 very Merry Christmas. And of course, I'll probably see you tomorrow too. Thank you very much. I hope you, uh, hope you have a great one. It's, 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 it's great seeing you guys here. I'll see you soon.